Hey, how you doing? My name is Steve Meister Torbich. I'm a professor of the Department of Political Science here at the UWC Eau Claire. And we're going to be doing an online summer course. And uh, this should be interesting. It should be fun. I've taught one years ago when the technology was a little bit behind the times, and now it's a little, a little better. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, comparative politics, what is it about? Well, the key to doing well in this course, before we get into any details, is simply stay up with the readings. I know it sounds hard for some of you who've grown up pointing and clicking, but that's really the deal. Stay up with the readings, uh, uh, do the assignments when they're due, and uh, you'll do fine. You'll do fine. I know these things because when I first went to college, I was one of these jocks on a scholarship and, and had a lot of fun, and I flunked out after four years. And about 16 years later, I went back to school, and I simply started showing up to class and, and uh, doing the work, and next thing you know, here I am a professor. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. So, do the reading, stay up with the class. Read the class outline or the syllabus so you're aware of when things are due, when readings are to be looked at. Uh, I will hand out in this class study guides for, all, for the exams, the midterm and the final exam. I will say, hand out guides for what a paper is about because at the end of the semester you're going to have a paper to do. Uh, there will be a few quizzes during the semester. They'll be online and you'll get your grades back from the quizzes fairly soon. Quizzes are part of your grade, along with participation, which we'll do online, discussion groups. And uh, we'll see how that works out. Now, what is comparative politics all about? Well, I assume you know a little bit about the United States. And uh, we're going to go over the United States uh, later on today in some detail. And uh, this is the country that you know. And the United States, like many other countries in the world, is a nation state. It's a democracy. Uh, one of the themes for this course is, what is democracy? What does it take to be democratic? Is it some kind of mystery? In some sense, yeah, it is some kind of mystery. And uh, we're going to look at how democracy ticks. We're going to look at the United States very quickly for this first day. Then we'll spend three days on Great Britain, three days on France, three days on Germany. We'll have a midterm. Then we'll look at Russia, Japan, and very briefly, China, Iran, and India. And by the time we're done, you'll have some idea what comparative politics is about. You have some idea what a parliamentary system is, since most countries in the world are parliamentary. And uh, you'll be able to read the paper and talk to that weird uncle in the basement who keeps acting like he knows everything and you'll know more than they do. I assure you, you will. So, first of all, the world's made up of what they call nation states. Nation states. And the problem is, very few places in the world is the nation and the state similar or one thing. In fact, what I should do is do this. Because I just noticed on the screen that the red writing doesn't show up. We'll do something darker, nation states. Very few states where the, is the nation and the state the same. Very few places in the world. Uh, I see this is backwards. I assume that this is this kid. Oh, technical difficulty. Let's see if it's the other way on the other side of the camera. 